I wanted to uh, ask about Jordan Pricer. I know he's not on, on your side of the ball anymore, but were you a uh, part of the, the recruiting process when he, when he came here? Uh, no, really. When I showed up, uh, Jordan came in about the same time over the summer last year. Uh, I really liked him as receiver. Uh, he's got good hands. Uh, I thought he was very durable, uh, tough guy, wants to learn, wants to be a good player, all about the team. Uh, you know, when I see him making plays over defense, I couldn't be more happy for him. Were you kind of familiar with the situation in, in, in Illinois and kind of what he went through before he got here? I, I don't know too much about his, uh, about what happened at Illinois. Uh, I can't imagine that they wanted to lose him because he is a good football player, certainly capable of playing at a high, at a high level. What do you think allowed him to be uh, maybe more successful in the secondary? You know, he's, uh, well, he would have been successful at yeah. receiver, I think, at the time when he was moved. We just really needed more depth over there. Um, what will allow him to be successful, he's fast, he's instinctive, and he's, he's really powerful. He's not very tall, but he packs a punch. Does he have a pretty good work ethic? In, yes, he does, yeah, absolutely. And he loves working in the weight room, loves working on the field. Yeah. What do you think of your unit today uh, out there? Well, we had our moments. We made some. Uh, we made some good catches down the field, but uh, we, you just, you know, I like to see us make uh, more of the tough catches on contested balls. Uh, I believe our guys should come up with the ball. That's just the way we think, and uh, we didn't always do that. So uh, we work on it. We practice. It, we drill it. We talk about it. Watch video, and uh, I'm confident that as time goes on, we'll become better at catching those contested passes. What do you think allowed Dave to be so consistent the past uh, four days especially? Yeah, here's what he does. He's, he works so hard uh, over the last year that he's just in better shape than most guys. So mentally, the, the grind of, of summer camp, being out here in the heat, for him it's just another day at the office. He's been doing this for a long time, so uh, he's really physically and mentally ready for it. Being from uh, maybe a football background and having a dad. And Certainly helps, yeah. He's, he's, he's grown up and been raised yeah. around football, and uh, his work ethic really shows that think about maybe putting him more on the inside which is how successful he's been even when Desmond comes back yeah well he's uh he played inside for us last year uh he's really versatile and uh we don't hesitate to move him around and we have so many different formation tags that we could put him inside anytime we want for a given play thoughts on a, a guy like a Ruben Jermaine like you know they have uh they, they've been in, you know continue to improve uh, just looking out of those two the, the biggest uh, the biggest thing they need to work on, their Achilles heel, so to speak, is, is really just consistency. Uh, being, being very good to great day in and day out. Uh, they haven't been that way yet, uh, but they certainly show sparks of it. Timetable for Dez to return? Uh, I think over the weekend, I think uh, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I think his, real, his rehabilitation schedule is on schedule. Uh, I'm not too concerned. Is it more just precautionary at this point with him? Just... Well, no, I don't, I don't know if we're a precautionary lot. But uh, he just uh, can't go full speed right now. And uh, we try to keep guys out there that can go full speed. And that's just, he's just not full speed. Okay, thank you guys.